interesting. There's Barry Diller. He knows what he's talking about on streaming, and he says, look, nobody's going to derail Netflix. They're still number one and will stay number one. I think our next guest, tech analyst Beth Kindig, will agree with that. Beth, welcome to the program. It's good to see you. Here's Barry Thanks, Diller Stuart. saying nobody's going to dethrone Netflix as the number one streamer. You make your case because I think you agree with him. You know, I do, and I don't want to negate the critics. Like, you know, Netflix has a huge debt load. Uh, it bleeds free cash flow to the tune of three and a half billion a year. Um, those things we know about, the market is very vocal on. Um, if you look at Netflix, though, I mean, they have such a wide margin. They are leading every which way you look at this. They have 87% of the OTT households in the United States. Outside the United States, they have 70% of the English-speaking countries, uh, 55 to 65% of non-English-speaking countries. Okay, this is a phenomenal lead. Uh, and then if you look even further beyond the subscribers and you go to the top 20 most streamed shows last year, Netflix had 17, Disney's uh, Marvel had two, and Hulu had one. Amazon Prime is not even anywhere on that list. Uh, so no matter which way you look at this, Netflix is in a lead by a very wide margin. Okay. One more thing. As I understand it, Netflix is now creating original content in the language of the markets that they're reaching. So they're, they're doing foreign language original material, and they can target it. I mean, Netflix has the ability to target individuals with what Netflix thinks they want to see. I, I can see how that's a really big plus for them internationally. Yeah, and that's where a lot of that content bill comes in, is that, you know, they are spending $15 billion a year. They say this is going to be their peak year. A lot of it comes into that international content, um, and it creates a huge moat. Uh, really, the only contender you know, take, take all of those companies, all of those streaming services. Really, the only contender in that area is going to be Disney. And it, to be honest, the real headwinds that Netflix faces, if you take the lead Netflix has and you add actual uh, broadband penetration across all of these geographies, uh, Netflix would have many more subscribers than what it has now. The mm. biggest headwind Netflix has is broadband penetration. So the majority of the world right now doesn't have broadband. And those that do don't have fast enough speeds to have OTG streaming. Um, so, I mean, that's actually a bigger headwind for Netflix, which is going to be solved over time. Okay, real fast. Um, do you have a price target for Netflix? It's right, right around two ninety three hundred at the moment. You see, I'm actually, uh, you know, I, I do this, I do this for a living on my on my site, and uh, I actually think you should let the market beat up the company um, a little bit. I think the market's going to do it, whether it deserves it or not. Uh, I would say try to get in a little bit lower than where it's at now, and then hold for the long term. Got it, Beth. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. See you later. Thank, Thank you, you, Stuart. Sure thing. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to that big ball because we've just.